Today I'm going to work on cleaning this tank. It's a lot clearer now. There's still some debris in the bottom. I still have found some pieces of that crazy moss that just won't go away. Uh, there's actually some back there on that post. Um, but need to hopefully catch that guy right there, the great white in the corner. Plants are coming along nicely. I uh, just need to get up a lot of junk, like, you know, this stuff here, uh, right there, sorry. This is coming around nice, things are bouncing back. You can see the dwarf sag, new growth, new growth on that nano anubius. Um, so, nothing really to report here. And of course this tank is so low maintenance, it's crazy. But uh, gonna get to work on this. Bulbs are coming tomorrow. And uh, once all that's done, I'll put together a big video for you guys. And then everybody keeps asking about these little guys. And there's the two baby discus. And I just keep hope. I hope they keep getting bigger and keep eating well. So, fingers crossed. Yeah, it's just showing this heater. It's a 300 watt. It's an Eheim Jaeger. Um, I'm not really sure what happened here. But if you look really close... You can see moisture inside the tube. Uh, that's a bad sign for me. And so I'm taking it out. I'm not really sure if... That just looks like something burnt. Leaves or something burnt on there. But uh, I'm going to... I've got another one that I had in backup for this tank, actually, that I'm going to pull out and put in place. These are a pain to calibrate. I'm not going to get into the whole details on calibration for these, but I'm definitely going to go with a, as a matter of fact, I had a call in to someone at, Aquat at uh, Cobalt Aquatics. I can't find anybody that has the big uh, Cobalt Aquatics heaters in stock right now, but as soon as I do, I'm going to replace uh, these with Cobalt Aquatic heaters. But it, that's just really kind of annoying. That shouldn't be happening. I mean, did another large, and you can see I still got work to do, but the only way I know to clean the tank up is to do large siphon changes, uh, or sorry, large water changes, siphon out the junk, just keep clearing it up, cleaning it up, and it'll slowly uh, take care of itself, and I'm still finding little pieces of that moss stuck everywhere, it's just crazy, but all right, I gotta get on it, uh, these guys are getting restless, but uh Put all this together but yeah the bulbs are uh, today's tuesday the bulbs are showing up tomorrow so i'll uh, put all this together in one big video once the bulbs come up and you guys can see the difference and i've only got two pair running in the back but as soon as i get high lights on these swords in the dirt they're gonna they're gonna bomb right. later so three of the bulbs came in and uh, i've got amazon prime and look what they put it in i mean that's almost the size of my door. Um, I don't know if you can... I mean, look at this. In my guess, if I open this up... Anyway, this is kind of crazy. Get the tape off of here. But I'm betting, since these are the bulbs, that they just didn't want to uh, risk them being broke. Which is interesting because I see a hole right there, but good night. This is all air. Yeah, there, 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 there they are. Here's one bulb. And then here's the other two bulbs. So there's three of my bulbs. And then the rest of this is just uh, paper. And it's interesting because there's a whole bunch right there in the box in there. But I don't know. Maybe that's the safest way to pack them. That's just kind of crazy. And then these are packed as well. But Oh, that doesn't sound good, does it?
This one shattered. Unbelievable. I don't even need to open it. Just listen to that. Crazy. And here's where they did it. That puncture hole right there shattered this. That's crazy. All right, well, good times. Right, guys, showing how I'm gonna do this. The two bulbs I got in the pair are going in the back. And so what I'm gonna do, the way this ballast works, I've actually got a switch right here. Just reach back, turn that off. Now I just have the lights in the front. And uh, gonna replace these. There's clips in there, these things screw on the end. Uh, it's gonna be a little tricky to do that with the hood on, but uh, you know, I, I'm not uh, I'm not Superman, and that hood is uh, four feet by two feet, rather heavy, and I'm just gonna try to cheat it. So we'll see how I do, and uh, hopefully I won't. <laughs> hopefully I won't blow a breaker in the garage because uh, there's a little bit of current on those things. But I did turn it off here. So uh, the switch is dead, there's no current on the other side of that uh, ballast or transformer. And uh, here we go. And uh, the bulbs are right here. And I, you know, it's just hit or miss uh, with this, but I will say that Amazon's great about, uh, all I did is clicked on a link on my order, just said, yeah, this failed, said why. There's the baby discus, by the way. Stars of the show. Uh, clicked on the link and then uh, printed out a label and I'm just going to take that right around the corner to a UPS store and they'll put the new printed label on the box as soon as UPS tracks it they'll release a replacement and uh, hopefully that one will make it but uh, yeah ordering bulbs on Amazon is kind of hit or miss so curious uh, what you guys have experienced but I can't beat it I mean if you have Prime, shipping's free. It's second day, and then uh, it was like twenty bucks for a you know four foot bulb. So T five HO, I would have paid easily fourteen more for it in a local store. So anyway, um, all right, got to get on it. Here's the box. Here's who makes this bulb. Very cool looking box. Nice colors on it. Of course, it's showing salt water here. It's got the instructions. Uh, this is the part everybody really cares about. So you can see the wavelength, uh, which is pretty good. Spiking really high there in the green and in the blue. So that's definitely me. I want max daylight. Then it tells you what to combine it with. And, uh, you know, you gotta like that, right? I know I need to go LED. I just, you know, uh, have you seen all those wires? <laughs> so it's just, uh, it's not that easy. It just takes a long time to. It's just time and money. So it's cheaper to stay with the T5HOs right now. And then when I get time and I win the lottery and uh, and the kids are out of college, uh, we'll see about going LED for folks. But it's a lot easier to have these down laying flat and have it kind of sitting this way so you can see it and then screw those in place. And then it just snaps into these little plastic pieces. Um, which I can't really show you because it's so bright, but yeah, there's one right there. Then it just snaps into those plastics in place. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach back here and turn this on. So I'm gonna have the old bulb and the new bulb. And so it is working. Uh, it does look a little brighter to me, but I'm gonna add the other bulb as well. Normally you're supposed to add bulbs and then wait and add bulbs and wait. I don't have time for that. Uh, I'm probably gonna pay for it We'll see. Uh, I've got some tricks up my sleeve, but uh, 
the especially with this many bulbs, usually you're you're supposed to cycle them in and cycle them out. I um, anyway, this is you. You shouldn't do this, but I'm doing it anyway because I just don't have time. So too much going on, and I'm getting this tank ready because uh, I'm starting a new job, and it is what it is. But anyway. Um, I'll uh, add this other bulb and then hopefully we... One of the worst things happen. This is what happens. Notice how this is yellow. This plastic tends to underheat. They tend to dry out. It cracked on me. Matter of fact, there's probably a piece of it in the tank. Yep, there it is right there. See that? Uh, right there is the other piece. Um, if you see it right there is that piece missing. So... Uh, Thankfully, what I've got, I always keep a, a box of spare parts for certain things. So I'm going to reach in and I put it in this and I'm going to see if I've got what I need. Fingers crossed. I've got one. If not, I've got to go to the store today and get one. So looks like I'm going to the store to get one, and that's not going to be a fun trip. But hey, the day's early, and uh, it is what it is. So live and learn. And while I'm at it, I might want to get an extra one of those because oh, there's one. I've got I've got two. Hallelujah. All right, so that's what I need. Probably less than a penny part. Lights don't work without it. I always keep those in spare. Uh, thankfully, the Boy Scout rule came into place, but I'm only down to one of these, so next time I'm in the, I'm in the store and I see one, I might want to grab it because you never know. I mean, these things are cheap. They're made in China, and, you know, the boat, the boat may not show up for a while, and... That's the problem with some of these parts is they're cheap, but can you find the replacement part or you end up having to get new lights? So anyway, taking a deep breath right now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Guys, not to be a MacGyver or anything, but one of the most important things you can have when you're doing work around your fish tank or around computers, which is why I have it. When you want to see behind a computer or you're trying to figure out, you know, if a cable is really connected, a mirror, a pocket mirror, just a little, little mirror. This is a little, I, I found this one day and I just kept on to it. It's got a nice little, it's like United Way, see the label, but anyway, but so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out, and you can see right there, I'm just checking that, that plastic contact didn't go in good it sat in the ball but it didn't seat into the rail so i'm trying to going to use this mirror to figure out where yeah and you can see right there see the wood if you look up so i've got to put that in there there would be no way for me to see that if i didn't have a mirror i'd just be in the dark no pun intended <laughs> there it is set uh you can see that through the mirror uh, I'm set here, get out, but here we go. I'm going to turn this on and see what happens. And uh, there's the new bulbs. Two new bulbs in the back. And uh, it, it looks a little bit brighter. So, um, and we'll see how it goes. But all right, got some more work to do and it's not really good. All right, look. See this right here? Did you see that? That's known as flashing. That's usually not a good sign. I have no idea why he's doing that. Guys, just wanted you to see the difference of this plant. There it is. This, this is this plant on the top. Here it is on the bottom in the water. That's how the leaves are totally different. See how thin they are here? See how short they are there? And you see that a lot with plants they grow one way in the water and one way out. And a lot of times when you buy them at the pet store, 
they're actually growing them this way and they put them in the pots and then when you, your pet store gets them they sink them and they'll melt or change a little bit or their characteristics will change so the plant will kind of look different uh, just as a heads up. As a matter of fact you can even see if you look right back in here that's actually stigma that's growing there and like I've got some growing down here on the bottom but anyway, this is the final video I'm doing to make this tank less maintenance. Uh, I've got to do a big water change. I've got to work on my filter. I'm going to put, uh, I've talked about this before, but I really like Clear Max. I'm going to put some of this in my canister. I've got some pads for the uh, filter pads for the canister. One thing you'll notice about a tank that's really bombing or really booming or really easy to maintain is how clear the water is. Like, if you notice how clear this is, this tank's low maintenance. Of course, there's nothing in here. But one of the things going on here, there's just a lot of debris. Still, you know, filtering out some of the junk. I had a lot of that driftwood uh, deteriorating from the moss that was cutting into it. Just a little bit of junk. So just still working on it. And uh, speaking of, these two guys are still holding on, fingers crossed, that's a pretty good sign. And I just need to get them a little bit bigger. But, um, got to do some work in here today. And this will be it. The final thing I'm going to do to make this tank le less maintenance, I'm going to be running the lights longer, but doing the siesta, what they call the siesta setup. And got back from a week of vacation, here's a 33 gallon. And uh, you can see the water sprite there on the top. Here's these guys hanging out. It got a little cold in the house. I didn't have the heat on and it's kicking back up, but it, the house was in the 50s, which was crazy, which got my temperature down to about 80 because the heater's only rated to get it so many degrees above room temperature. But anyway, uh, I had cleaned the FX5 filter and you can really see the difference in the water, how clear it is. It really looks good. The plants are really doing well. This one's taking hold. Um, you can see the Glossostigma doing well there. It's growing good there. This stuff's bouncing. And uh, and I still got baby discus. So they just keep getting bigger. And I'm look, looking forward to it. So anyway, I think I got it where I like it. It looks like I got a tiger lily leaf right in there, which I need to pull. I haven't done any work on it at all. Uh, like since going on vacation so uh give you an idea how low the water is i don't think i've ever had a video where the water is this low so you can really see and then here you can get an idea of how low it is very very low i've got a fan running uh, to try to keep it from getting hot in here when all the lights are on and the new plan uh, is to put this on what they call a siesta cycle and a siesta cycle is you like run for six hours you take a two hour siesta and you run for six more hours. What that buys me, it buys me two things. It turns the lights on early in the morning when I'm getting ready for work so I can feed them and, do, and look at things. And then uh, when I come home, I can still enjoy my tank for a few hours and not worry about algae. The siesta is what's recommended if you want to run your lights for a long time. Uh, the plants just need a little bit of a dark time. Two hours is a good nap for them. Uh, that's what people have recommended. So that's what I got to do. I got to clean the algae off the glass. The uh, only other thing I need to do is I still got to change this heater. I want to go with the the Cobalt Aquatics heaters. Uh, I got to get two of them. I got to order them. Uh, that's something to take care of. Uh, and that's really it. I got a baby. Uh, I have a baby one baby discus in here but i'm not sure where it's at right now but i will find it but i'm gonna clean the algae off the glass do some maintenance and then uh, i'll wrap it all up with the final video what this tank looks like after maintenance but the hair grass is slowly coming in which it will because i'm low tech so it's low maintenance and you can see the glossal stigma is coming in nice a little change of it it's doing well star grass isn't booming too bad the bacope is really kicking it back there really liking that this is doing well and I can't remember what this is. This is an Asian plant. Uh, I think it's from Japanese. Seems like it starts with an O. I just call it a type of a clover. But it's doing really well. And it's a slow grower. 
uh, in a low tech tank. So, and this crypto curva, it, it's it's slowly coming on. You can't really tell it's there. And then that that chain sword is kind of back there doing something. But um, I got to put all this together in a video. I got to do maintenance today. Hopefully, I'll get it all done. It's been a busy week. As a matter of fact, look at that. I got a. You can see that leaf back there. That little leaf right there is from a tiger lotus lily. Here, and what I wanted to show you guys, so I just started doing maintenance on this tank. Remember how much work I did to get rid of that uh, Christmas moss? Look at that. What's that right in there? I hope you can see it. That right there. This stuff is like such a pain. And look how it hooks on to stuff. Good, I moved, I found a baby, baby tiger lotus lily in the 120, so I moved it over to the 33. And that's that Barclays Longfellow that had dropped seeds, if you guys remember an older video where that thing was gorgeous. So I'm gonna try to let those things populate. And then some of this wisteria or pieces from, uh, from the 120. Guys, this is the kind of light timer I have, but here I've got it. It's coming on a little before 6 a.m., around 5.30. Then this makes it uh, turn the lights off between 12 and 14. Lunchtime and 2 p.m. I'm on Eastern Standard. And so in this time frame, the plants are recycling. The algae's kind of dying down. The plants get a chance to take a breath. And then from here, I'm going from 2 to um, a little after 9 o'clock, which is 2100. So, um, kind of excited about that. We'll see how this does. This is my front lights, and these are the low intensity ones. They're kind of in the front. They're like a, one is an ultraviolet blue, and the other is kind of a not bright light or a bright white. So I'm going to run these more than the ones in the back, and I'm trying to get this to simulate the sun coming up. So the other lights in the back are coming on at six, and this is coming on a little before six. So, but but they will all go off between uh, lunch and two p.m. They're all set to go off at the same time. Check that, out. that is glossostigma. And the whole reason that happened is because Rickia flutens allowed uh, set up a carpet on that tube. There's no way you could get that plant to grow and root. And it's even got some flowers in there. But I, I, I don't know that I can easily get to it from here. But And then look at this. The, uh, the baby tears. Look at it, man. It's, it's turned into a freaking bush. And then wait, when we go below the water line, watch this. Is that not crazy? That Madagascar lace plant, it's not supposed to do well in warm water. I'm growing at 84 degree temperature. So anyway, don't tell anybody. Uh, they'll get mad at me. Don't tell the plant either. The plant doesn't know. I'm making the plant think it's cold. But uh, that's kind of it. Happy Sunday. Uh, April's almost over. We're about ready to get into May. The only other thing I need to do in this plant, I did, you guys are going to be upset. I lost the, uh, the German blue ram, the male, not the female. So I need to get her a counterpart. Uh, I don't know if it was old age. I have no idea. I mean, he, he was fine. Even when he was dead, his color was amazing. So, um, but he just started having some odd, he, he just was tired. He'd go park in a plant and just kind of breathe heavy. He was just tired, didn't like to swim. Uh, and when I put food in, he wouldn't go for food. I was kind of like, oh, that's, that's not a good sign. So, um, anyway. all right guys, happy Wednesday. Here it is. I'm tacking this on the end of uh, about a month worth of videos. Sorry for procrastinating. Appreciate uh, two of you on the channel for picking on me about uh, getting all this done. Uh, I've got all the movies uh, spliced together and ready to drop on the channel. I just uh, I needed to 
at a farewell. So uh, since about 2010, I've been working from home, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm out of the house now, and it's not a lot of fun working from home. I'm not going to get into that, but, but anyway, um, everything's going well. Uh, this has been a great journey. I've really enjoyed uh, the channel, the feedback, seeing some uh, killer tanks, and some of the stuff, like, I think it's Jay Flesh out in uh, Colorado. I mean, he's, like, going to plumb his basement to, I don't know. He's he's going to start his own fishery. But uh, a lot of really cool stuff out there. I appreciate uh, everything everybody does in, in the community for the fish tanks and all the great advice. Uh, you guys have uh, been great. And I, I'm still going to keep doing this, but it's just, obviously, you can tell things are a lot busier now. But uh, appreciate all the great advice. I can't believe uh, I was able to get a baby discus. So I still have one. I'm down to one. And uh, I think I lost that one when I came back from vacation and the house was really cold and I had the temperature drop. But uh, But the fish are doing well. The only thing I really need to do to my livestock here is I need to replace the male uh, German blue ram and I need to get I've got one hatchet fish in here and he needs a few friends so that's just kind of sad to have it that way but uh, a matter of fact there's that hatchet fish on the bottom because it doesn't have anybody to school with it's hanging out with the Beckford pencil fish but uh, it's been a good journey I appreciate everybody's friendship. You guys, uh, let me know what you want to see next. Uh, the next video, hopefully, from me will be when I uh, set up these cobalt aquatic heaters. And I'm just trying to figure it all out. But, hey, happy, uh, happy Wednesday. Enjoy the day. And, uh, you guys, hey, thanks for watching. Later. See ya.